Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News, and um, I was going to do a barrel aged stout today, but I just didn't want something so high in the ABV. So I decided to do this. This is Big Ugly from Springhouse Brewing Company, and uh, this actually doesn't have an ABV on it, which means it's fine. Must be low. So this is actually a chocolate peanut butter stout. Very cool indeed sounding. I can't wait to get into this. I, I always like their artwork so far. They always have really cool artwork. Um, they have It has this uh, baby brother version of this, I guess you call it. It's called Little Gruesome, and that's actually a peanut butter and jelly stout. So that's pretty interesting. I would, I, I'd like to get my hands on it one day because I'd, I'd definitely like to see what that tastes like. But so far, we're going to try the big gruesome. Uh, generally, this was on tap, but now I guess they bottle it, so that's pretty cool. So, as of, I think as of right now, the only Springhouse Brewery brew that I've actually had is their Seven Gates Pale Ale. So this is this will be the second. Nice glug. Looks a little thinner than peanut butter, but that's okay. <clears throat> that's what we got for the look of it. Definitely got some nice roast off it already. Lots of peanut butter. Lots of chocolate. <laughs> this smells. This smells exactly like a Reese peanut butter cup. Just the 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 way the roasts are, are going together. It's those. It's just a really dark roasted kind of a peanut butter. More, not so light. I mean, it's it's dark. It's very roasted. So let's give it a go. The smell is spot on. Let's see what the taste is. It's in the taste as well. The body's actually really thin. And for these, for this style, I wouldn't want to drink a lot of this anyway. So a big, big, thick body would really help this out for me. I would like it a lot more. You do, it's not as huge as the nose. The nose is massive. Um, but you do get all the chocolate, peanut buttery goodness in the taste. But mixed with that, you get a little burnt toast. Definitely get a bit of, bit of coffee bitterness. And you get some earth tones too. But the nose, mm. it's tasty though. A lot of good flavors, a lot of residual bitterness. Not an overwhelming, just a very nice, like cleaning, cleaning bitterness. It just my mom, my mom tingles around your your mouth, and it just makes it that much more refreshing. got a mild carbonation to it. Personally, though, I'm thinking I would like it less carbonated and a thicker mouthfeel. Because this reminds, if this was like a chocolate uh, peanut butter porter, this would be absolutely spot on. That drying sensation, a little bit of bitterness, got that mild carbonation and a thinner mouthfeel. That's a porter to me. So there, it's good though. It's very good. It is very good. Shaking the table. And for a unique style, this is unique to me so far because this is the first one I've had. I know Marley's Brew Pub in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania also has a peanut butter porter, or peanut butter stout rather. So I'm definitely going to give that a go. See what that's like. That'll be off tap, so it'll be a little bit fresher, and um, I'm sure this off tap is just a little bit more brighter, a little bit more crisp, and a little bit more clean. Sometimes the bottles do do that. But anyway, this is <clears throat> very good. It doesn't taste like a very big ABV beer, so I, hopefully I was right on that one. But this is Big Gruesome by Springhouse Brewing Company. This is their chocolate peanut butter stout. It's going to get a big 
8.5 for me. This has been Paul from PA Brew News. Cheers.